All right, so um, ladies and gentlemen, basically what we talked about when we were doing linear factorization, um, going to the linear factorization, the easiest way and the first thing you guys learn how to do linear factorization was be, to use a factor tree. And basically a factor tree is a way for us to be able to write um, the factors of the number. Okay, Vanessa? So the first term here is we can basically break this up into 48 times x to the fourth times y cubed. You don't have to, but I'm breaking this down into the, like, the slowest way to do it. And then I'll show you guys the ticks, um, tips and tricks, or just a little bit of a quicker way to do it. Now, we basically what we're going to do is factor this down to the prime factors. Prime factors are ones that have no other factors. Yes, that was the test that was on there. Did you? Wasn't the same? Why was it not the same? Or maybe Macy has the wrong. Oh, yeah, that's not the same. Macy, why are you cheating? There you go. All right, so in this case, basically what we're going to do is we want to um, see if we can break this down into two numbers that multiply to give you 48. Well, hopefully you guys see that 8 times 6 gives you 48. And then you keep on going until you can't factor the numbers any further. Here I can do 4 times 2, 2 times 2. 6 I can do is 3 times 2. x to the fourth. I can break down into x squared times x squared. And x squared, I can break down into x times x, x times x. And y cubed, I can break down into y squared, or let's do y times y squared, and then y times y. And you guys see how the numbers I've ended up with, I can't factor any further, right? Those are prime numbers. So now what we're going to be doing is writing our num product as a prime factorization. So basically, you're just going to take all of your prime factors, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, x, 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 y, y, and write them out. Thank you. So I have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times x times x times x times x times y times y times y. OK? That's the long version. You guys did much easier, simpler problems in, in class. Now. The way that I um, actually 16 yeah so the way that I like to um, the way that I prefer to do a problem like this is rather than writing it as rather than doing the factor tree which is perfectly fine if you understand this and this is how you want to do the problems you can do it this way however it does take a little bit of extra time so I do want to go over at least another method that I will be, when I'm doing my teaching, I am going to use. I'm not going to do the factor tree because it just takes a little bit extra time. But again, if it makes sense, use it. What I like to do, um, actually, never mind. I'm sorry. Wrong, wrong, wrong video. So 